Hello guys, this is Ira from Sonura Essentials, and today I'm going to talk to you about the various extraction methods of essential oils. This is the second video from our top essential oil questions video series, where we answer the most commonly asked questions related to essential oils, so that you benefit the most from them. So let's get started. Essential oils are extracted from the plant six different extraction methods and they are Hydro distillation, steam distillation, solvent extraction, CO2 extraction, expression and enfleurage. Now I'll explain all of these methods in detail, so that you get a fair understanding on essential oil extraction methods. Let's understand our first extraction method, that is hydro distillation. This process is mainly used to extract rose essential oil from rose petals. In this process the rose petals are submerged in water and then heated. Due to heat the water and rose oil gets converted into vapor, which is then passed through a condenser and collected in a receiving flask. The rose oil and water is then separated and this how we get our rose essential oil. The water received from this process is also called as rose hydrosol, floral water or rose distillate. Now let us understand the second extraction process that is steam distillation. This is the most popular method in use to extract essential oils from aromatic plants. In this process plant material is collected in the extraction vessel, and then steam is passed through that vessel. The aromatic compound present in the plant material gets converted in vapor state, and is passed through a condenser where it cools down, and gets converted into liquid state. This aromatic liquid is collected in a receiver where it is separated from water, and we get our essential oil. The third extraction method of essential oil which is solvent extraction. This process is mainly used for plants having low concentration of aromatic oils and that are also resinous in nature. In this method a food grade solvent such as hexane and ethanol are exposed to the plant material at a specific temperature and pressure. This process of extraction is completed in two steps. In the first process when hexane is mixed with the plant material we get a resinous mixture as an outcome. This mixture is called concrete. Concrete contains both the essential oils and some waxy non-volatile aromatic materials. To separate both the materials a second process is conducted where alcohol is added to the concrete and the mixture is heated again. The aromatic oils get dissolved in alcohol and are collected in a different receiver. This is an advanced extraction method of essential oil and has only one downside that a few traces of the solvent remain in the extracted oil or concrete. The fourth process is the most modern and the cleanest process to extract essential oils. This process is called supercritical fluid extraction or commonly known as CO2 extraction. In this process carbon dioxide is compressed at a specific pressure and temperature and converted into a liquid state. This state is also called as a supercritical state of carbon dioxide. This supercritical CO2 is then passed through the plant material. It extracts all the aromatic material from the plant and is collected in a different vessel. After this, pressure is slowly reduced to convert the CO2 in gas again. After the process is complete, we get a thick substance, which is a high-grade essential oil extracted from the plant. The fifth process of extraction is called as expression. This process is primarily used for citrus fruits like lemons and oranges, in which the essential oil is obtained from tiny pores in the fruit's peel. In this process the complete fruit is placed in a device that pierces the essential oil sacs that are located on the inner side of the fruit rind, then the whole fruit is pressed to squeeze out the juice and the oil. This mixture is then centrifuged and filtered to obtain the essential oil. The oil extracted through the cold press process are the most volatile of essential oils and is evaporated quickly when exposed to air. The sixth process of extraction is called as enfleurage. It is one of the oldest methods of extracting essential oil from aromatic flowers which uses the animal or vegetable fat for extraction. This method is not used for commercial production anymore. In this process vegetable or animal fat is spread out over glass or a wooden frame where it settles down and thickens. After the fat is settled, fresh flowers are placed on the top layer and pressed inside the fat and are left over for three to four days. 
In this time all of the aromatic oil present in the flowers get absorbed by the fat. This process is repeated till the desired fragrance saturation is achieved. That's it guys, now you know all about the essential oil extraction methods. I hope the information shared in the video was helpful for you. Feel free to check this video's description if you seek more information on essential oils, or alternatively you can visit our website, www.suniera.store. Don't forget to check out the other videos from our essential oil video series. Thank you for your time.